make some noise for yourself for coming into downtown Los Angeles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Harmontown is now in session. How are you tonight? You look so much better than that. How are you tonight? Yeah! <laughs> Let me bring to the stage the master, king of all he surveys, gamer king, Spencer Crittenden. Yeah! Couldn't do a show without him. Lord knows he needs to hear you give him some claps when he gets out here. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon! Yeah. I am Brandon Johnson. Rap, yeah, rap to the east, rap to the west, yeah. rap to your knees, rap to your chest, huh. rap to your feet, rap to your shoes, Come on. rap to the rhythm and the news. What? You thought I was going to say blues, but I, I mixed it up. Ain't it the same thing, Dan? No. <laughs> That was just me realizing how offbeat I was the whole time. <laughs> like, no, but, 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 okay. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh... <sighs> All right, well. Let's get down. Yeah, not a lot to share. I don't know. Just been working hard. Uh, you know, it's fun. Yeah, you're back, 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 right? This is a, yeah. uh, what week is this? Is this like four weeks in of Rick and Morty? Uh, it's a little more than that, but it's, now it's like really, like in stage, I'm like, like, oh, it's good to be back to work, but now it's really like, I mean, we're, we're things are running like a fucking machine, and yeah. it's, I, I'm not gonna lie, it is a new thing for me, like, I, I, it, like it's, it's just, it, it really is continuing to be this thing where I'm like, how are you gonna fuck this up? Like, it's up to you to fuck this up. Like, just like, why? And, and, and that's when your religion comes into it. You're like, do I believe that the universe is structured in a way that if everything is going okay for a week, that it has to go to fucking shit and get all fucked up? <laughs> like, you, you either have to believe that, and it's like, but, but it's like, like, is it okay to just be like, well, maybe maybe your definition of things getting fucked up will elevate or something. I don't know. Yes. I, I, I haven't figured it out. But, Higher end fucking up. But I do know that it's not, it's not, it's not supposed to be you that... Like, you, if, you have, if you have no shoes for a week... I'm going to riff a metaphor. It's going to go good. It's gonna, I'm going to nail this. If you have, you have no shoes for a week... And then you're like, this is pretty fucked up, but it's normal. So during that week, you're like, I got no shoes, and Maggie likes me. And she's like, hi, Lloyd. And you're like, no shoes, Lloyd. That's what they call me. <laughs> we don't have really caveman names. Who said we were cavemen? What kind of image? Just because I have no shoes. There's lots of people that don't have them. Maybe we're in a weird country. A weird country? Our names are Maggie and Lloyd. Can we not get into this, Maggie, you fucking bitch? <laughs> You have to pick everything apart and problematize it. I got no shoes. <laughs> and so then you go home and go, I, you say to your live-in girlfriend who <laughs> always knew Maggie was probably an issue, but also you guys have an understanding because you knew it was like you moved, you moved in actually more out of convenience. And so anyways, you're not dishonest, <laughs> but she, she's like, how was your day? Like shitty, got in a little tussle. <laughs> What was it, Maggie? Because you want to fuck her? No. And, and you're like, like she was, oh, she, I got no shoes. And then she's like, nah, nah, nah. this is starting about names. And you're like, so you had a bad week, right? And you go like, OK, I had a bad week. No shoes guy had a bad week. OK. OK. I think this metaphor is still going to work great. You got this. So then the next week, you wake up. <laughs> There's shoes. <laughs> so let's say you have a caveman holiday called shoe, Shoemas. All the cavemen get shoes. No, correction. None of the cavemen get shoes. Most of them get a BB gun. You get shoes. <laughs> you know why? Because you're a good caveman. You did your fucking time. You deserve shoes. What are you going to do with a BB gun? There's mammoth out there. <laughs> I know my history. I know my anthropology. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> so you put on the shoes. Now you're, now you're fucking rolling. These are the Tesla of cavemen shoes. Yes. And you're like, wow, feels good. Like, rattlesnakes can't bite me. Um, Saber-toothed tigers can't outrun me. OK. I'm sure they can outrun me. <laughs> That's like, like, you know, you why? Sure. You know what? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I don't owe you this explanation, but I'll say this. 90% oh, no, of saber-toothed tiger deaths happen because the caveman, uh, in the midst of creeping by the saber-toothed tiger, went, ow, because he stepped on a sharp stone. 
That's a fact. <laughs> so shoes means life. It means you're lucky, you're privileged. I, got, I had no shoes. I was, what was my name, Lloyd? Yep. The caveman. I now have shoes. So if Lloyd starts to think, okay, now I got shoes. So now that means, right, that I'm going to get caveman cancer. That doesn't do anybody any good. That's not a good thing for him to think. That's not even his expertise. Like, we'd rather him think about other things. Like, the light bulb hasn't been invented. You're There's saying a... when Lloyd had no shoes, his fear was the tiger, the saber tooth. Yeah. But then when Lloyd got shoes, his new fear was cancer. Yeah. Cancer. And I think it would be, you know, <laughs> and, uh, look, I am the first person to agree that Lloyd's podcast is going to get a little less entertaining <laughs> once he stops going, doing the ins and outs of his fear of saber-toothed tigers. I, I, I do agree that that was a big part of the appeal. Um, but, you know, the, assuming the podcasts aren't what keep us happy and alive, like, I, I was just like, like, like it shouldn't, you shouldn't be like, oh, God, there's a, a cave anvil is going to fall on my head. That's what, but Lloyd lived with a girlfriend. Well, but did that sound like a happy relationship? <laughs> what do they mean they're living together but they're what come on I mean, that sounded like they needed to take that to a cave couple therapist perhaps <laughs> perhaps the thing that will keep Lloyd from worrying about cancer is the fact that he's got people around him who are also worried oh wait oh you that was a left turn okay that was a left turn I, you I thought was I was, got, you thought I, I was I, gonna I, say I, booze I was, didn't I was, you to take his <laughs> shoes and run as far away that he <laughs> <laughs> to go to a place where there's no tigers or people and just be in a field and like lay down and die from sleeping too much. And make great television. That's always been a part of it. And I have never, ever, ever said, like, I've never, look, I've been doing this for 20 years. I have never made the television I make part of anyone's problem. I've never done that. Like, I, 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 I you find me an episode of a TV thing I produce where it's like, oh, I can see someone's upset about Twinkies. You know, like, I, I don't, I don't fucking, that's hack shit. Like, I fucking, like, blow your mind. I tell you timeless <laughs> stories about struggles and humanity. Shoes. <laughs> I, I, I use these great metaphors to like reveal things about. I don't even remember where I'm going. I'm, just, I'm trying to. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just. This is part part three. I think since I, since I revealed that I'm too happy. Yeah. It's a problem, okay? But you're getting. Here's the good thing about getting happy is you're getting happier as your problem grows. Well, I'm excited to talk about it because yeah. it feels like also. And your therapist goes, "You need to learn how to be happy." And you're like, "You mean brag?" <laughs> <laughs> Because I was told that's how you get cancer. <laughs> and she's like, no, that's not how you get cancer. <laughs> are, do you, are you mean like Jack Ruby comes to the prison and like, or wait, no, Jack Ruby got injected with cancer, right? Because he, uh, Kennedy? Okay. Do you think you're going to win? Uh, <laughs> Jack Ruby? <laughs> yeah. Do you think you're going to win the happiness battle? Because it sounds no, like. No, because you know like... what? You know what? I have a feeling, you know what I think is going to happen? I think my body's gonna start uh, d dying. Uh, <laughs> and we'll dress it up. We'll call it a stroke or a, <laughs> or a, or a lung collapse or a, right. or a, a gout. Right. Um, <laughs> and then, oh, and then everyone will go, oh, he's dying. And then I'll go, oh, don't worry about me. I lived a good life. Why are you no, all I talking don't think, like that? I don't know, because. <laughs> You know, I don't want to. I want to mock it before oh, Dad, we get there. You, home? you said I you, to you think I'm some a... flowers. I heard you were dying. <laughs> don't you think winning is? I guess I, I guess I'm like nine years old. Like, don't you think winning is like you don't die? That's what. No. <laughs> like I... that's every game you play. Like tag, you're it. You lost. Tag. I'm never it. I won forever. It's true. If you play hide and seek and you stick yourself into a storm drain, it doesn't matter if snails are crawling over your face. You won hide and seek. <laughs> But you lost at life. The, well, <laughs> tell that to the person who said life was about being sought. <laughs> tell that to Professor Siegman and his fucking model of the universe. I just want to see you coming out from under a bush with slugs on your face going, I won! Oh, man, I was the king of that shit. Like, they, they play flashlight tag. I'm like, I will go where no light will go. <laughs> 
See? You will it's find easy for you to brag. in my lungs and a smile on my face. Go, we won last night, Tag, and we lost. <laughs> we sure did, buddy. We sure did. <laughs> the, you, you hid somewhere. Some people were afraid to shine a flashlight. Congratulations. The joke's on you. Everyone just wants to stop playing. There's girls here. Um, yeah, I would hide. I knew how to hide. I used to, we talked about this, like, I just, oh, you guys think, when you're a kid, you're, you're not claustrophobic, right? Like, I remember we used to hide in, like, fucking, like, weird cupboards and shit, and we'd be like, the uh, weirder the better. Like, you'd, like, <laughs> tuck your leg and be like, man, I wish I could lock this from the outside yeah. so that nobody, and swallow the key, because I, like, your instinct is to yeah. never be found, like, and I think it's because you're a kid and you don't know that that's a coffin. Like, like... <laughs> You're at a certain age, I, I'm gonna say like 17 or something, and you're not quite like gripping mortality, but you watch your first Serpent in the Rainbow kind of movie, and you're like, how come that guy's going like this and screaming and, and inside of the coffin? And then you, that forces you to go, well, I'm gonna have to decode why this character's acting like this. All right, I'm in a box, I can't get out, there's nothing but, oh God, oh Jesus, God, oh, 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 God, being buried alive, oh my God, we all end up dead. Oh my God, being unable to move. Like, I, I got to a point. Dan's grabbing his sunglasses. We do a podcast part too. These are, you, you say that they're $300? Oh, they're $300. <laughs> Dan threw them into the ice. I bought them on New Year's Eve. I was already high. <laughs> the store wasn't open late. Uh, I was. There was, the sun was out, obviously, or I wouldn't have. <laughs> but I was like, I'm high. Was like, that was a good day. I like New Year's Eve. You, uh, you started it out getting high, and then we're like, I'm so high, I should get some sunglasses. Yeah. Because well, I, I got other shit to do. I went into Fred Siegel with my girlfriend, and I was like, let's get some crazy shit for tonight. And then I was like, how about some sunglasses? <laughs> yeah, but what about, what about being rich? And then I was like, what if they were $300? And I was like, mm, maybe I'll wear them again. <laughs> my thousand dollar glasses that help me see because they, they, those are gone I don't know where those are oh, I lost yeah. those yeah it's not your problem I'm just well saying. it's hard like I don't know that's why I wore my glasses all the time I was supposed to just wear them like while I was driving but then it's like you have to carry a case or some shit and it's like well I'm not gonna do any that's, of this that doesn't, I, I don't understand who is uh, how, I, I know uh, the answer is 100% I'm not gonna ask how many of my audience wears glasses <laughs> I know it's 100%. But of you, how many of you, by, let's say by applause, how many of you like walk around with a case for your glasses? That's, yeah, that's that a feels, lot. That feels healthy. I don't think right. all those people are serial killers. <laughs> uh, right, that's good moral applause. Yeah. I understand. I, got, I paid it. I lost $1,000. I, I went yeah, and got yeah. things, and they cost $1,000, and you, I treat them like they're garbage, but they're not. They're $1,000. It's almost like the case makes them harder. You're just doing it to make them bulkier so right. that you're, you don't lose them. But, yeah, I mean, that's so you could, like, put it in your pocket or whatever, but I'm never going to do anything that like that. So it's just like holding a small log or something. It's yeah. dumb. <laughs> I just feel like an asshole. They gotta figure this shit out, or do they? They're rich, I, and yeah. we can't see. Yeah. They got us right where they want us. <laughs> Our next guest <laughs> is uh, we want it by popular demand. A lot of people said last episode they're like, Dan, that was amazing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> just amazing and wow. Awesome. <laughs> Where were you, by the way? <laughs> Do you understand that every time you're not here, fucking Schraub is out of control? <laughs> I, I, I is know, that is true? It, yeah. I mean, did, you, did you listen to it? Like, like he just, like he can't. I'll, I'll be, I'll be like, you know what's crazy about mortality? It's like ah, mortality. <laughs> and I just like, like, I'm you need that. I can't. You can't compete with that. And then they're all like, he's great. And I'm like. <laughs> I can't argue with that. I don't, I'm not, if I argue with that, I'm a bad guy. But then I'm like, right, what was the quintessential one? I, I, it was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, oh, do you think about death as a human? And he's like, as a human? You're not, a, you're not an animal, you're a human. And he just went off for like, and you know how he does that thing where it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, he doesn't wait to see if it worked or not. He like, 
he just he just leans in and that's why it works. Yeah, like, yeah. Because if he did it and it didn't work and then he leaned in, you'd be like, no sale. But he just fucking leans in. He's like, he's like, you, you go, hey, do you understand? As opposed to oversit, as opposed to oversit, as opposed to oversit, understand, not oversit, 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 as opposed to oversit. You said understand, but did you say oversit? See, it worked on you. You. Now try this one. Hey, do you understand? You mean as opposed to over sit? Well, you're laughing because I, you're laughing at the fact that I nailed it. My point. Anyways, all right. Shraba slammed the door. All right, well, let's bring out the kid from the alley from last week is what I was talking about. Mr. Jeff Davis is here. Yes! Jeff Davis, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Davis. Oh, no. I thought you were going to bring out a shrub. No, nah, because that wouldn't have worked. See, I'm a craftsman. I don't care. <laughs> like, like, I'm helping him. I'm like, what would help Shrab in terms of timing? Like, I, I, I like, well, you don't do that. And then he did that. I was like, well, let's buffer it. Why are you wearing Support. sunglasses? <laughs> I had some work done. <laughs> I, had, Why is the, I had a coolectomy. <laughs> And I don't want, it hasn't, it, it's... You, you took the cool out of yourself? Yeah, so, I'm, I'm, so I, I don't know why I would uh, then right, just yeah. mitigate it, but... Right. I, told, I told the story on this podcast of, like, uh, uh, I, I had a therapist, and... Uh, um, <laughs> and I was telling, I, tell, I know I told this, but I, tell, then she, she, I was, like, talking about my childhood, and then I looked up, and she had, like, tears coming down her face. And I was like, why are you crying? She's like, well, it's a very emotional story. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's not. Like, and I'm not being a Klingon. I'm like, I know, I'll tell you what's emotional. I'm a fucking <laughs> professional storyteller. And, and, and she's like, well, I don't know. That's it. Maybe not to you. <laughs> professional therapist. I think I, know, I think I know what's powerful. And I was like, all right. Well, see you again. Same time next week. <laughs> uh, came back next time. And she's like, well, talking about, well, how's your uh, thing with your sled? No, that's great. It says rosebud on it. It was uh, going through. I don't, I'm making up that. I'm making up a therapy <laughs> session. Uh, what, 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 what if in Citizen Kane he just had a therapist? <laughs> like in the middle of the movie, he's just like, I had this sled, it's rosebud, and she's like, well, see. <laughs> but you, but, he's like, but, you know what? I'm going to go home to my wife, tell her it's okay you for her to go out. She was crying for less than honest reasons. So then she, yeah, and so she, she goes, like, by the way, <sighs> really embarrassed about this. You asked about the tears coming down my face. I had had some work done, uh, and I was embarrassed because it's a vanity thing. Um, so I lied in the moment, and I feel bad about that. And I said, well, I probably didn't say, but th I said the way we say in our heads when we're just, when we're just gonna walk away and you never go back. You mean you were like? Yeah, I was, I'm like, I was like. You were all like. I'm were were sure. you all like, or were you just like? I think I was, I think I was <laughs> nothing just... like, uh, because I think I was like, okay, sure, and just never went back. But I'm like, uh, you mean you, more importantly, you lie. Like, I said, why are you crying? And you're like, specifically because of the emotional quality of the story you pay me to listen to and understand and analyze. Like, that's fucked up. Yeah. Like, lying is, a, if your plumber comes over and he's like, oh, looks like you took a big shit, and you're like, don't judge, and he's like, I won't, I'm a plumber, I'm just gonna get the shit out, and you give me 50 bucks, and I'll be gone. I'm sorry to offend plumbers, I don't mean to make your occupation sound cheap or fucking craftless, I know it's hard. But uh, I was in Boston. And, uh, and but 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 while he's doing it, if he's like, <laughs> and you're and you're like, hey plumber, why are you crying? And he's like, nothing. And you're like, well, uh, okay. But it's fucked up if he goes, it's just your shit stinks. <laughs> that's that's fucked up. 
He doesn't have to do that. He could say, I watched Roots last night. <laughs> and then to come back a week later to fix your sink and be like, your shit didn't stink that bad. <laughs> I just I'd had some work done. See on now, my and, face. That, and that and that one place, maybe I'd be like, well, that's a pretty honest plumber. Like you didn't have to. You could have, because all shit stinks. And I, I'd be like, okay, that's cool. You can keep plunging everything. <laughs> but the therapy, then that's where the metaphor breaks down. Did you keep her? No. Oh, good. Okay. No, nor nor did I like, you know, say I'm firing you because like I just didn't show up. That's what I did with all my therapists. It's like, ah, I'm just doing, no, I'm just show up. How's your current therapist uh, relationship going right now? Fantastic. Yeah? So good. You guys get along? Oh, I mean, get along? No, fuck that. <laughs> She's just fucking good. Did Rocky get along with Burgess Meredith? Yes. <laughs> no, he made him chase a chicken. That's he, not what a friend does. He, <laughs> he, he told him he was going to eat lightning and shit thunder. Yeah, no, but he, a, he, he told him that from out of a moving car that he was making him chase. Like, right. it's not a friendship, it's, but it's more valuable than that. Right. You're gonna do great, kid. Come on, you're a bum. I'm not a bum. You know, like it's friendship is is for pussy. Has your therapist ever told you that you might get murdered to death? <laughs> by oh, Mr. Oh, oh, by oh, Mr. Oh. T. That's, that, that's Rocky <laughs> no, too. No. no, but my therapist told me I have a 50% chance of suicide given uh, my right. Uh, and uh, uh, tonight you said you weren't going to learn how to be happy, which was the other alternative, right? Wait, no. Did I say that? I didn't say that. I thought Why? you said you weren't going to find out how to be happy. Who says that? That's crazy. I was so. I, that's why I clocked it. I was like, write this down and don't like follow up on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. I mean, I didn't mean to. Good, because don't die. We don't, give, we don't give Spencer that fancy a desk to not remember things. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ask yourself if I've ever done anything cool and before you worry if I'm just going to kill myself without any worrying no, you're anybody. Not, you're not going to kill yourself. No, I'm, I'm not, not worried not about that. Kids, cause suicide isn't cool. What I mean is, have I ever done anything restrained or like, you know, like, mm, I don't know what I'm going to do next week. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not capable of that level of... You're not going to kill yourself. You, you're going to get killed by the alt-right, and we all know that. <laughs> <laughs> um... Spencer's desk is backwards. We, we yeah, have, it's this. We, <laughs> we, we've oh discussed boy. this. Then. Okay. T tell me, because this looks like a backwards desk. Yeah. But that's the whole point, right? Well, think of it this way. What do you think is behind, like, on the back of this desk? Drawers. <laughs> well, what do you think is on the front? Fake drawers. No, he's saying... You think there's drawers on both sides? <laughs> No, I think there's real drawers in the back where you are. I think there's fake drawers in the front. Well, that's where you're... Well, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, what? Why is there... Now get ready to have your mind really blown. <laughs> oh, shit. Jeff, I think there's fake drawers on the back. <laughs> what? This is just like... Oh, man. This is just like the Neil Patrick Harris Oscars or whatever. <laughs> Do you guys remember that? And everyone's like, how did they know when they pre-planned the whole show what would happen on the show? <laughs> this could never happen. How could all these actors do pre-scripted things? <laughs> on camera. <laughs> this is magic. <laughs> and I was like, why is anyone impressed? And people are like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I was like, you don't see what's happening? <laughs> Acting. Okay. <laughs> That's been building for years. <laughs> I'm just so glad, so glad that you said it inside this time, not out in the street like yeah. the first time. No, I know. He closed, he closed his own drawers. <laughs> Well, yeah, I like that. I like our audience because what they applaud is the confessional that's been building for years. Yeah. A lesser podcast, they've just been applauding after the rant about the thing. But then they, they liked that, and then they waited, and he said, "That's been building for years." And they said, "They said yeah. we love you." <laughs> I like them. <laughs> well, okay, and they don't like being praised. Fuck you. 
I like that too. You know what we haven't Deal done, and, and maybe this is a bad thing to uh, to back control on. We haven't brought up a audience member out of the audience on stage oh, in a long shit. time. Is it, is so, it, someone gasped at that. <laughs> it, is Probably it, it, the it, worst it, guest we could ever. Don't you right, think? Yeah. Sorry. <gasps> because don't you think like it's it's usually good if somebody's like, oh, my dad died and I uh, is this, but like somebody that's like, <gasps> I was just saying, yeah. you know. <laughs> It There's might a have good been chance a, that person is... Is it Adam Goldberg? No. Uh. No, no, we didn't mean that. But don't you... What about... What about Schraub? What about Schraub? Oh, shit. Damn. Rob Schraub! Oh, watch your voice. Rob Schraub. Rob Schraub. Oh, shit. Rob Schraub. Oh, okay. Rob Schraub. Rob Schraub. Rob Schraub. Rob Schraub. Rob Shop. What if Shop was one of us? That's a complicated visual bit. Hard to describe. Called Steve Levy and Two Doors. Really, really taking me to task earlier. I might, have, I might have deconstructed you a little bit. It's that's within my I, right. That's all I do is just say things loud. I didn't say that. That's I did part not of it. say that. Did you guys it's hear how strong my voice was just now when I said I was so down? worried. I was like, you can't be doing this, man. No, I'm, allo I'm allowed to have a strong voice until I feel like I'm tired. Oh. Huh. oh my oh. fucking oh. back. <laughs> <laughs> well, Levy, can we... Levy, can we get Schraub a sarcastically comfortable easy chair <laughs> for next week? So he can just be yeah, my dad. Should, the journey can be complete. We should have just a Barca lounger out here for him. Like can, we we can, just, can we just then show you Mel Brooks movies throughout my podcast and you can just go, eh, eh, eh. Now that's funny. I don't I'm know. For that. I'll do that. Let's, I'll Brandon's do that. Brandon's got oh, a chair. Look at this. Thank you. That looks, that looks great. So let's compare. Is this better or worse than the last chair? I'm going to say better. Because <laughs> my feet are on the floor. And you're reaching for the stars. <laughs> this could be oh, Jesus. fun later on in the show. <laughs> what? This little crack here. Oh. Looks like it's half built. I think my phone's going to go dead. It's oh, no. Dead. Oh, no. Now what? Now what? The show. But with the show. Uh, Quick, hurry. Do the show before it runs out. <laughs> <laughs> you see through it now, don't you? Oh, you I just wanted to share that my dad remembered the dad fished episode. I texted my dad during the show because everyone's like, text oh, your yeah. dad. Uh, he did text back, and I wanted to... What did he say? Do, the, do it in his voice. <laughs> now, is, is this your actual dad that texted yeah, you? Yes, because you, you didn't change Heath back, right? Uh, Monday, J July 16th, 8.51 p.m., I was here uh, with you. You made me text my dad, because um, <laughs> apparently the following exchange was standing between me and emotional fulfillment. I said, my show got nominated for an Emmy, exclamation point. And uh, Tuesday, July 17th, he texted back, fucking fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're healed. Yeah. Did he say, what else is new? <laughs> no, I mean, let's not put, you know, like, let's not. Uh, I like, uh, he doesn't have to do more than that. No, no, no. You know? <laughs> My parents don't pick did, up. Did, did you have more of a conversation after that? Like, did you guys? No. Well, because you know, I put out a little uh, uh, Emmy, fantastic. And you, what am I supposed to be like? How's the garden? Yeah. <laughs> why, why not use that as a as a way to open up a uh, a little dialogue between you? And it's your only if you want the conversation yeah. to continue. Yeah, I don't care about gardens. Not Emmy worthy. <laughs> but what about? Okay, your, no. What, I thought that would get a laugh. <laughs> What? You, your dad opened up a dialogue. He didn't open up a dialogue. I did. Uh, <laughs> but he furthered it. He, he kicked that uh, soccer ball back into play. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. So this would just continue forever. 
text your dad. Text your dad. <laughs> oh, so fun to be part of an emotional epiphany. Oh, goodwill hunting. Text your dad. Hey, dad. Yay, we affected something. <laughs> hey, dad, this happened. Good. <laughs> Text him more. Text him more. And forever, fuck people. <laughs> Give me an Emmy. Don't applaud that. Yeah. Don't applaud that. That is so Don't, don't, why, why, why don't why are you take people's that? instructions on when to applaud. That what did I tell you? That is so bull. Don't applaud shit. that. You're, you, you're a Applaud. Well, I, your okay, father, we'll talk. Your father, who, who is as emotionally estranged as you are. Emotionally estranged. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, you, you you can hold his hand if you want. He was mocking you. You said problematized earlier. <laughs> when there are two, my role changes. He speaketh, I cosigneth. <laughs> but you, your dad, Emotionally your deranged. dad said hip hip hooray, and you said nothing back. Like, like that's that's the end of that. No, well, his dad, a normal dad, would say hip hip hooray. Right. <laughs> but. A, but a cool ponytail dad said, fucking fantastic. Read a cool man. Yeah, and so what? It's really surprising. How you are guys, we trying to spin this into me continuing to be it's the playing, aloof withholding guy? It's playing it's catch. It's not going to work. It's playing catch with words, Dan. It's right. what you've always wanted. All right. Okay. All right. It's All right. Well, I'll, 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 tell how about this? Well, every tell night this, of the week, I'll fucking tell, text tell, my dad. Tell oh, wow. Te yeah. Text him right now. Tell him to see. Tell him to see Mission Impossible Fallout. It's supposed to be great. Yeah. J J tell him to see Fallout. It's supposed to be great. Have you seen Mission <laughs> Impossible? <laughs> well, now, where does the colon go in a title like that? Mission, Mission colon impossible. impossible. Am I right? I think. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Mission colon impossible. Oh, no, semi colon. No, no. Mission fallout? Impossible. Colon fallout. Mission, the mission is impossible. It's clearly mission colon well, did impossible. They go, did, did, did they go? The colon is baked into the original title. Okay. All right. So Just tell your father here? you love him, Dan. <laughs> tell your father you love him, Dan. <laughs> tell him. Uh, I, I prefer to go with a more possible mission. Uh, <laughs> Have you seen Mission Colon Impossible Colon Fallout? This it peaked is... with Ghost Protocol. Uh, my, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be really good. I haven't seen it. Well, he's gonna ask why I'm asking. That seems. And the answer is because it's, it's a... nice to hear from you, Dad. I, I appreciate the. Uh, oh, you could say. Is that what you want me to text? The connection. I, I, it's I, nice I, to hear from you, Dad. I appreciate the connection. Wait, is that yes, we, yes. wait, wait, wait. Can we now that you have given him some information about yourself? Can we maybe ask? Ask about him? him a question. That's right. Thank you, Brandon. What should I ask him? Have you, you seen? You should ask him. Have you seen? Uh, how's your? Mission how's your? Have you? Have you seen Mission did Impossible? Did you hear? You should say. <laughs> did you hear about these nuts in this Emmy nomination? Oh, uh, no, I already... Come on, you're trying to trick me. <laughs> no, 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 really. Maybe, maybe you should say... Maybe you should ask him what he's been up to. What have you been up to? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I miss you, father. What? <laughs> what have you been up to? Question mark. And that ends that segment called yeah. uh, Everyone Backseat Drive My Fucking Relationship with My Father. <laughs> Uh, in spite of me giving you complete fucking control over it, you will never learn the lesson that the road leads nowhere. I think it's fun. Drive it off a cliff. I don't fucking care. Thelma and Louise, my life, you pieces of shit. <laughs> maybe okay. maybe, yes, maybe yes. love grows on trees where you yes. live. Don't fucking bully me. All right, all right. Everybody's I, I a piece of shit. I, I can I, turn I off my fucking feelings like a light. Oh, God. I don't think, Phil Collins. I don't think two women driving a car off a cliff to commit suicide it's is, exactly is, is, the, is same. the same as saying, it's exactly hi, the Dad. <laughs> It is exactly the same, it's and not don't you same. ever try to take that away from me. <laughs> or my gender. Don't do it. Uh, Here's something I haven't ever seen, Long Kiss Goodnight, and I just watched it recently. Pretty good. Let's do a scene from it. <laughs> the Long Kiss Goodnight. <laughs> 
are you doing? Hey! 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 How'd you get it? Hey! What are you doing? Oh God! Dan is oh God! Oh God! Hung out. Oh! Oh yeah! He flies backwards and out of the store. <laughs> that was Yay. a long kiss. Good night. I have to re- rewatch that movie. It's pretty I, good. <laughs> I think it might be Dutch. Uh, I, d- I don't remember the, uh, th- that much Nosferatu in yeah. it. Have you seen the Frank Langella of Dracula? <laughs> no, not for a long let's see it, time. Let's see a scene from that one. Let's okay. see a scene from Frank <laughs> Langella's Dracula. <laughs> oh, a wolf man. <laughs> wolf man. <laughs> But you have to imagine the camera. 20% of the movie is a camera facing down the side of a building with Frank Langella moving his hands, green screaming up the side of a building. He's either coming for Renford, he's coming for Lucy, he's coming for free pretzels, he'll, he'll Spider-Man. That movie should have been called Spider-Man. Renford. Renford? Renford. What's his name? Oh shit! Hey, hey! What are you doing crawling up our road there? What are you doing? Sanford, you will obey me. Oh no, I'm Renford. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm oh. going. I'm going. You have no faith, I'm going. Sanford. I'm going. I'm going. You eat that cockroach. I'm eating that cockroach. <laughs> I yeah. expected you to be harder to <laughs> command. <laughs> you are known for I your some lazy fortitude. Improv. I just kind of go, eh, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 <laughs> that was Redford and Sons. That Redford. Was, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you, you like that that Shrub Nile of just like a uh, Sanford? Yeah, no, I, mean, I'm I, ro- I'm I was trying to let else. them know there was a guy named Sanford once, and you're like, oh, more like Renford. Like, yeah, well, we. What, what do you think the name is of the Dracula's thrall? Renfield. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you know what? Dumb name. Renford. If I had a thrall. Renford, the big red dog. Was was. <laughs> Was Renfield a vampire or what? Why is he the... wanted to become a vampire? And, and in exchange for that, he agreed to eat cockroaches. Why is it baked I... into his character that he has to eat cockroaches? We got three movies I could name where he eat cockroaches. He, I, I think he's just like a mess. Like he was just kind of like slop. It's just a like D- Dracula like suck some of the yeah, so blood. Yeah, so like Bram Stoker eh. clearly like said like, no, oh, and he not... ate a roach. And then every person that makes a movie is like, well, pff, give the people what they want. <laughs> they want a fucking bat person. They don't need no fucking Renfield uh, eating well, That's rubbish. why they got Dracula. It's not Renfield the movie. It's not Bram Stoker's Renfield. Yeah, uh, some Batman movies have Robin, some don't. Sometimes they have Batgirl, sometimes they don't. Like, sometimes they have a bat cave, sometimes they don't. Every Dracula movie is like, oh, there's a Renfield, and he's like, mmm, gotta eat that roach. Otherwise, you wouldn't know who I was. <laughs> And I'm like, why is he eating roaches? Does he wish that they were people? Cause he, and he doesn't, he, was he a vampire? Yeah. But then he just, <laughs> Like, it's a, it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's a mess. The movie's a mess, the story's they a mess. They should change it, then they'd be famous. <laughs> I also feel like, in a very, in a very nerdy sense, uh, uh, roaches are probably really cheap. Like, well, yeah. On set. Oh, on set? Yeah, so they were like, you get spiders, rats, or you got these roaches for like eight for a dollar. <laughs> and production was like, fuck it, he's eating roaches. You think that Bram Stoker described him eating in a really expensive spider. <laughs> and he ate the most delicious multi uh, uh, hue, the, uh, like peacock spider, a rare species from yes. South America. <laughs> and, then, and then the first movie got Bram. made, and they're like, well, isn't that really just a roach? Like the line producers going, I don't know. I mean, like these <laughs> spiders are pretty expensive. <laughs> I mean, isn't a roach just uh, a spider missing two legs or something? <laughs> and we can only afford uh, the, the, uh, look, this leg, I, man. I, I went to a community college. For me, most important building, the cafeteria. Yeah. Every scene should happen in yeah. there. What's with what's hey. with all this Abed's apartment, Annie's apartment? 
People gotta eat. Put them in the cafeteria. <laughs> it's half a sound stage. It's already painted. Hey, can we put it in the cafeteria? I know it says spaceship, but could it be a cafeteria ship? <laughs> I don't want anybody uh, inferring from that that Pat Kenlin, the uh, line producer of Community, was anything less than a wizard and a supportive uh, ninja. It's, it, was, it, it just did become a running joke that <laughs> when we were writing something, I'd be like, uh, can it be in the cafeteria? Because he would, he, would, he would ask that. That was his job to ask that. But he wasn't uh, stingy or uh, uh, unsupportive. Sorry, I'm sensitive to people's legacies. I'm ready to die. <laughs> I'd like to leave a fucking footprint without a turd in it. <laughs> or, or enough of a turd that it's, and have the footprint be shaped like a middle finger. <laughs> Who stepped here? Fuck you stepped here. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you sure did. Where were they going? Your mother. <laughs> Why? To fuck you, her mother. You. Yeah. <laughs> Why couldn't you say that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting confused. <laughs> Have you been drinking? Maybe. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. No. <laughs> This bit went over pretty well last time. MC Gun Control. Thank you. I don't have to change the t-shirt now. Here. I am a character that is a rapper. I have a high voice. Do we have a beat? Is that the other? Oh. That's a good beat. Okay. It's a very clear and distinct yeah. beat. Uh, opening titles for a David Fincher film. Driving by <laughs> or a beat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was a good call. Yo, I'm here with my white friends making a movie. That was that. That's what that. that, that, that it just sounded like a David Fincher soundtrack. <laughs> MC gun control. Oh, this is nice. This I is just nice. wanted to explain my bit, and then we can be done. I didn't need to rap, but that would be ridiculous. But if I did, <laughs> if, if, if I did, now I'm curious. What if I did want to rap? I just want to see. Is that, somebody's phone? No, this is excellent. Is that? <laughs> is that, <laughs> is that, is that tr turn the beat up a bit. Or off. <laughs> right That's now actually the path of least resistance would be to just turn it off. It's alright. Well, I can. You know what I'll do? I'll yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Oh. Okay. Sarcastic. Okay. Yeah. East. West. Your mama did it best. Gun control. It's how our country rolls. Guns are dangerous. Don't complain to this song. Cause you can't pin me down for long. I'll change sides. My joke is you can't tell what I'm in favor of. I fucked your mama so hard I'd had to save her. her. Pussy. I had to save her her pussy. Yo, I savored her pussy too. Oh no, MC. Uh, hold on. You can say it. Dad. That's right. I'm here to take you home, MC Gun Control. But... But nothing. The time of your ambiguity-driven <laughs> sketch character has come to a close. No! Yeah. Clarity 
that's the new name of the game. I fucked your mama and you know that I knew her name. I have the answers, I'm MC Gun Control's dad. I never fuck you in between and fuck you good or bad. There's always a clear answer. I fucked your mama and I am a tiny dancer. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Taking your throne. Then I'm suing. Take me to court. I will. The next day in court. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. I'm MC Judge. I'm a third character that goes back and forth between the, the knob I'm turning. All rise for me to have a judgment in the case of MC Gun Control versus his dad. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Yo, I'd like to make the case against this motherfucker. I'd like to talk about how he never raised me right. I object. Sustained. Oh, shit. Sorry, sorry. Sustained. Well, I, I, already, I already wanted to sustain it. Okay, well, you're still not supposed to say it. Fine. Sustained. Is that good? For who? Me. No! <laughs> you mean I wanted to be... What's the other thing? Overruled. Is it overruled? Yeah. Good. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> I sustained it. You sustained an objection. Yeah. And that, you're telling me that's bad for me. Look, man, I'm just a judge. My story goes back beyond the ages. Hit it. <laughs> Yo. Back beyond the ages. Judge rap. Yo. Backstory judge rap. Ask not what you can do for your country. Ask what your country can do for you. This I is got the backstory. I got it backwards to a judge. You'll figure out what I meant. Yo, Mr. President, I'm not a judge yet. I'm still a lawyer, but I gotta warn you. I find you guilty of about to get shot. Ask not why I would be shot, but how I no, would be shot. No, he won't listen to me. No. Yeah. Yo. Nobody listen to me. I'm just what? a backstory judge. Listen to my story. Yeah. I tried to warn JFK and he didn't listen to me and he got blown away. Get now I got a gavel in my hand. I try to mete out justice all across the land. I try yeah. to hammer it here, try to hammer it there. I heard a case the other day about a woman versus her own hair. <laughs> Cut to Cut to that, cut to that case. Otherwise, that was a bad rhyme. All right, all right, fuck you guys. I'm you're, like my, my, you're like my rare, rare for it. Rare you know what? I'm at the, my hair strangled me, and I'm uh, suing it for damages. Uh, ma'am. To my throat. Ma'am, you I'm a man. <laughs> I know you've been thinking I was a lady. It's important to get this across. But, uh, you know, you shouldn't, Represent yourself. No, I know. That's what my hair said. Uh, I hope that I hope that I try a case of true importance. What would that be like? Excuse me, Your Honor. Yes. I have a apparently a rap for you <laughs> about how I would like to sue my father. Go on. Yo. What? Yo. Me? No. What? Yo. Huh? Yo. Okay. Okay, all right. Well, listen, let me explain how the legal system works. Wait, 
if you want to sue somebody, you can just sue somebody. It's not up to the judge. I'm not like a barista. You can't. It's not. I'm not. It's not like the genius bar. Like you can't just catch me at the elevator and 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 request a lawsuit. No, it's not going to help. Like that would be a terrible structured system. You can't. <laughs> that would mean that you had more recourse to justice than a normal person. That would be really fucked up. <laughs> uh, say no more. Uh, here's a gun. Uh oh. What do you mean? Why are you giving me a gun? Let's just say I may be for or against it. <laughs> But it would be a shame to let it out of control. Beat! Oh god, I'm gonna die! <laughs> what do you mean beat? What a terrible time for a beat. What do you, don't point at him, you said beat! And then beat! He, he's just... <laughs> Stop. No beat, no. What a terrible... Yeah, you just, you say it and then you say it again yeah, and it goes in, away. In a world it's where wonderful. there's no wrong answers beat. about when it's time for a rap, that was... <laughs> a, a guy pulls out a gun, let's just say, beat! Oh, oh, I'm gonna get shot, I don't know about it. Beat! All right. <laughs> Look, I mean, I'm just trying to fill time so that you guys can get home. Hell yeah. You're doing a great job. Our soup is almost done. <laughs> our, our cup soup is almost done. What have you guys been up to this week? Jeff, have you, have you learned how to make that uh, Mac of yours uh, download the World Wide Web yet? Yep. <laughs> I would do my vocal exercises, and my voice is getting stronger every day. What Aww. kind of, are you doing any diphthong and triphthong slurs? Oh shit! You know what? You know I am. Oh damn! <laughs> What's it? How do they differ? Um, I couldn't tell you. Well, no, I mean in 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 number. The trip thong is three. I, I do a thing where I I I got a little piano app where I have to a C where, where my vocal ceiling is every day. So I start. I think I'm at B four. And I, I have to sing that note every day, and that's, that's my ceiling. I th and I then you're I done when you hit when you get to after. Yeah. It was Brandon's idea. I Good saw job, it in his DH. eyes. Good job, D H. <laughs> Beat. <laughs> Look, I don't need to. I, I look, all I do, I show up. I try to entertain you people. You're doing great. No, I don't need that. Dan, I'm not giving Dan, you it. Dan, Dan tell your new favorite joke, the, uh, the, the, uh, the cancer joke. What's the difference between me and cancer? That's your new favorite joke. Cancer? Yeah. Uh, cancer. Uh, this? What's the difference between me and cancer? You're right. Uh, I <laughs> no. uh, will, will go away for $50. <laughs> B. Be no, we told this joke of a night. These, uh, I don't remember what you... What it well, is. why don't you what, tell what's, us what's that What's the you difference know between the me and what's cancer? What's the difference between me and cancer? If you get me, you uh, have uh, some support from yeah. your government. I, I, to <laughs> I told you this joke a few days ago, and it was your favorite joke. I okay, well... Well, I, I, you're really... You what's the difference between me and cancer? Dan's Obviously, favorite joke. You, what's the difference between me and cancer? It's clearly you more know important that sometimes to you. I'm Spencer, drunk? what's the difference between what's me... What's the difference between you and cancer? My dad didn't beat cancer. Yeah! <laughs> hey! That is an incredible it's joke. It's a fucking great Beat. joke. That's fantastic. It's a was, really that, was that on stage? Uh -huh. did, we do, did we do that on stage? No, we did it. Okay. Me, me, you, and Dina were hanging out. Yeah, that there. is funny. What it's the so fuck? dark. It's so dark. But it really is perfect. You guys sure hang out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys once a month. From a joke's pr pr perspective, yeah. It, 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 yeah, it is. It's like, uh, I like it. It's like a little. It's like a little piece of origami that's not precious, but also isn't like hack. Like it's like fuck. I'm it's sitting like this, at like, home, <laughs> staring at the ceiling. We're, half we're telling hilarious cancer jokes. The only the only thing I have is my dog. You're married. <laughs> She's playing magic cards with you, though. Yeah, you should learn. It's fun. I hate I hate games. I know. You have a dog and you're married. I have a dog and I'm married. 
Well, who needs friends? Uh, yeah, I mean, to, he, yeah. It, what's the difference between your wife and the dog? Your 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 dog's not going to leave you when he hears uh, that you have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all alone, and I have. Oh my God! We're, we're, just, we're, we're just we're just riffing up here. Just, it's a riff. Huh? Oh. What if I your did. dog left when he found out you had cancer? That'd be the fucking. <laughs> The shittiest dog in the world. <laughs> I told you this. I didn't tell you. Maybe I didn't. T- I did tell you this. Like on Kate's birthday, the cherry pie story. No. <laughs> it's just an evocative dessert. <laughs> Somebody in the crowd knows about it. a very self-satisfied oh, okay. baker maybe, back okay, there. I t- I t- <laughs> So Apparently it's Kate's you birthday, somebody. and uh, we g- we go we're, we get up in the morning. We go to the gym, and my trainer goes today. We're gonna do push-ups until you can't anymore, and I go, oh, fuck! <laughs> and then I do it, and I feel like shit, and I pay him, and I leave, and I walk outside. It's hot, it's awful, and Kate goes, we need to go to Whole Foods, and we need to get some cherry pies for my birthday tonight. And I'm like, I'm on it, I'm on that, I'm totally on it, feeling a little queasy. Can we go home immediately after that? I think I need to lie down after getting hurt. And, uh, and she goes, no problem. So we get there, we get the groceries, put it on there. I'm like, hmm, stomach's not feeling all that great. And we're in the car, and, and the traffic's a little herky-jerky, stop-starty. And I go, uh, try not to brake so hard, because I feel like I might... And I puke all over the birthday pies. And I look up at Kate, who's going, <sighs> <laughs> Happy birthday to me. You, pu- you puked all over the birthday pies. All over the birthday pies. We got new pies. Be- I, we got new pies, <laughs> oh, but yeah. I puked twice on it. I'm like, I'm so sorry. She's like, it's fine. <laughs> it's not fine. It was awful. Puked all over that. And I don't know, something happened when I... I I puked that I hurt my sh- like I hurt my well, shoulder. It, there are, you, you te- I mean, like your body is doing a thing that you never thought it so would do. So for the next couple of days, I have a a major pain. And in you have my to remember shoulder. that it's because you puked. Yeah, because I puked all over th- her birthday, and <laughs> and so I go, oh, when I went back to get the cherry pies, I bought some Ben Gay to rub on my shoulder, and I left it out in the car. I'm going to go outside. Lately, it's been a furnace outside. It was like 122 degrees in the valley back then. My car was outside. Open up the door. Grab the Ben Gay. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, it's a hot too. I better go and put that. Go back inside because it's so hot. Oh my gosh, it's really hot. Woo woo. Thank God for AC. Oh, this is going to feel good. Haven't used Ben Gay in a while. How okay. long? A couple of decades. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud shit. of your generation that you weren't like, ha, Ben Gay, how long? Oh. That was, that was like, every time I see a tube of Ben Gay, I, I am forced to do this. I have lived in Los Angeles for 20 years. I have nothing but shame about this, but I see the words and I go, Ben Gay, how long? Like, like and I am so proud of you tonight. <laughs> Like, like, there are some things that just get solved over Why time. Why is it called Ben Gay? <laughs> Why? Why is it called Ben Gay? Is there something in the words that say, cream that you put on your, when it hurts? Ben Hur said to his <laughs> brother, Ben Gay, Let, <laughs> let's switch. So, no, no, ha, what's the joke? What's the joke? It, it's, it's red buttons. What the fuck yeah. is the joke? Never had Wait, what? Yeah, this, a, I didn't know this joke. Ben, ben Hur, who said to his sister, Ben Gay, let's switch. No, what the fuck is a joke? Well, never had a dinner. <laughs> never had I've a never dinner. Never had a dinner. All right. Ben, I, I, all no, I know is that Hur said to his sister, Ben Him, let's switch. If we do, we'd be Ben Gay. Never had a dinner. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, that's certainly clever. I mean, I swear. It's not funny. All we did was <laughs> like the original version. We would literally go up Rob's to each wedding. other on the playground. We would walk up to each other and we would say, Say Ben Gay. That's all we would do. We would say, Say Ben Gay. And they would say, Ben Gay. And, and then we'd say, How long? That's it. 
That's that's how hard that's it how, was to be gay when I was a kid. That's that's how little forgiveness and you how had. easy it was to be funny. <laughs> well, <laughs> I want to know what happened with the hot being gay. Okay, so run inside. Oh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Kate's off doing something, running there. And the Ben Gay's been in the car. How long? A <laughs> <laughs> couple days. A couple days. Anyway, I go in there and it's like I go. I, I open up the thing and I squeeze it, and because of the heat buildup, it goes boom! Oh. <laughs> Splatters all over my. It's like uh, it's like Peter North all over the place. <laughs> And I'm like, oh shit, waste not, want not, better rub it in. <laughs> this'll probably not. waste this, not, want not. This will probably make make my shoulder feel better quicker. And I'm rubbing it in, I'm rubbing it in. Did you and rub I it forgot. on did you did you rub it on your face? I look, <laughs> yes. I forgot that Ben Gay heats up after okay. a while. Okay, all right. Okay. Like, I, isn't okay. that a bit in yes. uh, Revenge of the Nerds or something well, like that? Well, but, but uh, uh, I wanted to pause the commentary here because I wanted to say, you know, I thought, I, I thought it was going to be hot because it was in the car. It was. Okay, but But, not, but it was hot and it was pow. It, it, right. it built up. It was, a little, it was just a little, and it, I just exploded. And so it hit you and you're like, oh, hotter than regular, hotter, hotter than first contact More, with Ben most, Gay. Mostly, mostly it was like volume. It was like, wow, that's a lot. Wow, that's All a lot. Of, okay. It's like a lot of Ben Gay. And I just like rub it in. I like rub okay. it in. And I forget that after a while, right. it heats up. And somewhere between pop and it heating up, which I'm thinking is like about, you know, like two minutes, uh... I touched it's called the refractory my, period. The what? <laughs> it's called the refractory period. The refractory. Don't make during, me repeat it. During the refractory. I was ashamed of it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> during the refractory period, I must have touched my shoulder, my uh, my face, <laughs> my neck, my balls, my dick, my asshole, my knees, or whatever, and just. There's just a roadmap of what I did to myself to get rid of all of this Ben Gay. And I start going, ooh, ah, mm, that's a little uncomfortable. I hope that doesn't get any worse. Oh, oh, okay, okay, getting real hot. That's got to be it. Nope, nope, coming more. Holy shit. Oh, my God. And I'm rolling on the floor, scream crying, ah, on the living room floor, floor, going, ah, oh, my God. Help me, help me. <laughs> and I look up, and I see my dog on the couch looking down at me, giving me the same look that Kate gave me when I threw up on her cherry pie. Just, uh, <laughs> you've Censure. really, this is, this is what I... Yeah. This is what I signed up for. I'm like going, ah, no, you don't understand. <laughs> Lolly, it hurts so much. Daddy made a bad mistake. <laughs> oh, he, he ah. forgot it burned. The dog is like, you have the power to open and close the door. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, you, you, the, the he who opens cans. This is what this is what you're vulnerable to a tube of of something how, smaller than a cat. How, how did you get from a, an explosion of Bengay down to your balls? Why, why did that become a thing? I I don't know. I just I guess I. I oh, mean, it, it had been like, three minutes. <laughs> and, and he was alone. And, and Kate was. What do you think he was going to touch? An atlas? Yeah. <laughs> Very true. The world's been explored. Yeah. I, I, I made pickled eggs one time when I cut up some habanero peppers and I was making some of the best pickled eggs of all time. I hope this has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> and, then, and then an hour or two later, I masturbated, but I had forgotten to not wash my hands a million times. And my dick was on fire for a week. I it's, masturbated. It's, it's not a fucking alert. Like, like, you, like you cannot... Cut a habanero pepper and then touch anything forever for the rest of your life. When I was like 15, mm. I and I'm, I'm so I'm talking fucking. Peak, Welcome back to PBS Jerk It Stories. <laughs> it's like, your tax dollars at work. Yeah. Like I've talked on this show about how when I, I was like 11, when I hit 11, there was no turning back. It was Inspector Gadget. You were and gonna fucking, keep on aging. Yeah. 
so when, but when I'm at, I'm, I'm 15 years old, and it's just, there's no, there's no stopping. It's right. just, it's just a round the clock fucking union job, like jerk it off. <laughs> And uh, like I literally, I would literally like go in the my my own house's basement. Like you know, I'm 15. I live, so I live with my parents. I'm like doing so much that I'm like just pretending I have a reason to be in the basement, which is just so <laughs> mythical. Like like like, like what I was that 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 meant that I had jerked off so much that everyone knew that's all I did in my room, <laughs> and that I was like I'm gonna change a fuse. What was I like? I had so much jerking off to do. And uh, I just remember, like, I, it, it, you know, it chafing and then, like, trying to employ a product because I had seen in the movies or heard in popular culture that, you know, the, the lotions and the things. And I, I remember trying to use some product. I don't remember what it was. It wasn't, it wasn't anything comedically harmful, like, uh, like, like Bengay or mentholiptus, like, like, oh, it burns or anything How like long? that. But it also was not idealized for... <laughs> What? What'd you say? How long? Oh, I thought I, I thought you were. I thought, but 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 all I remember, <laughs> all I remember is uh, is the result, which is that like I just after going to town forever, uh, uh, sometime around, who knows why I stopped long enough to notice anything. Maybe there was a solstice. I don't know. <laughs> But I remember like looking at my little penis and being like, oh, like I, I, I was, I had to go to my parents. I didn't have to. I did. <laughs> this is how alarmed I was. I and I had, I, I was like, I didn't show them, but I was like, I think I fucked up. <laughs> It's a rough what moment. were they? What, what were do they mean? doing? What were they doing? The, was your dad like building stained glass? Watching was blazing he? saddles, and my mom was knitting. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, I guys, I need to ask a question about <laughs> what it's possible to do to your penis <laughs> if you do nothing but I and, and I, I just remember I because I, I was like I am alarmed. It it looks. Um, when I say shriveled, uh, <laughs> I want you to understand that I'm, it is a pre-shriveled penis. Like, I just, it is, it's, it was, it was sort of like, there was a, it, it, I remember being scared <laughs> that it had this, like, it was like, it was like, ch like, be chafed, like, or like, 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 there was something wrong. I was, I was like, God, I, I broke my dick. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> it was like, it was like, to me at the time, I was like, oh God, I made my dick, like, what would, we would later, if, if, if Game of Thrones was on at the time, I would have been like, oh God, I turned my dick into the stone disease. Like the, <laughs> like, like, it was like, it was like, it had like, it was like, it had like. Scales. Yeah. And I was like, what have I done? Is that just a thing that happens when you use the wrong product on your dick? Why? Of course it does. What was I thinking? Why would I just put anything on my dick? And the answer is, you know, shoot first, ask questions later. I, is, is the, I, you don't, you're not, you're not, you're not thinking. You don't, you're not, you're not, you're not, it's not a heist. You don't like roll out a blueprint and be like, here's how we're going to do it for the maximum results. You're just, I mean, if you're, by the time you're going through a closet, you're like a fucking Desperate man. Shoot what first. The, what, what was the... Uh, Cure? No. No, let's go slow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you establish contact? I, I, all I remember is, because I, I, I think I blocked a lot of it out because it's just so humiliating to think about, but like, I, I remember, I know the fact that I did because I was so concerned, that because I, I was like, well, this might be a thing that... You don't, you don't want the story 20 years from now to be, and then I didn't say anything, and then my dick dissolved. <laughs> right. So I was, I, was, I was, in my head, the only thing more powerful than my horniness, and later I would find out, you can't do anything to a dick to <laughs> kill it. I, we wish. I just wish I had known that. I thought it was a unicorn. I'm like, hey, friend, what can I do to keep you alive? And I, I, <laughs> I, you can't fucking. You can put one of these things in a pair of pliers and do, like like it doesn't. What what what? Yeah, no, like like that's the thing that nature's gonna make frail. Um, all right, I hit a I hit a I hit a I hit a nerve. Um, the the but I was like I was like I was like I'm worried about it and I was like I broached the subject with my with my mom. I think my dad too, uh, and was like I think I broke my dick. 
how do you know? Is there such a thing as like, here's what I used. I can't remember what it was. And, and, and they were just like, Ugh, like, like, like so <laughs> bummed out. They weren't really, I don't, I want to say they weren't of any help um, <laughs> because they were probably like, they were probably like, well, do you want to go to the hospital or not? Don't tell us about that shit. You know, like, like <laughs> does, it, does it hurt? No, it looks weird. <laughs> Weirder than a dick? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, like, I know, like, does it, that's why I'm asking, and mine's 15 years old, does it ever, is it, <laughs> if it looks like the following, is that I, because I used this, I, I, I just, I, after a while, I'm like, I think the message I'm getting is I wait for it to heal, fuck you people. <laughs> what was the product, what, what, what did you use? I can't use? remember. I was probably like some kind of like really specific lotion that I was just like, well, any, all lotions are the same, but it was like, maybe it was like, a lotion for monkeys or something. I don't know. <laughs> like a, I don't. I, mean, I just remember uh, turtle wax. <laughs> <laughs> it really sticks out in my head that I was in the basement using it. That I was like, I had gotten to the point where I was like, I because I see like intervention episodes where like the the grown man will just like, they won't even explain it, but he'll just like he'll just have like a little corner in the basement where he lights his crack pipe. You know, like it's just like it's become. You know, like, and I, I, I feel as it's just like, God damn. You know, like, this guy likes jerking off. You're lucky that you didn't have uh, uh, a black mom who really coveted her <laughs> hair care products. <laughs> <laughs> because that was a choice that I had to make Whoa. under great duress. Did that go you, south? You, 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 that you, went you, south because, you, you know, they become sleuths about the shit. You try to be like, I was, I was in the shower and I was taking a shower and I got some shampoo in my dick, and she's not going to buy that shit. You got it in it? Wait, are you saying you got it in it? Right. Oh, so exactly, it burnt? That's exactly what she said, holding a Virginia Slims. <laughs> she's like, you got, got it in right. it? So you got it, you got it in your dick somehow. <laughs> okay, Brandon. <laughs> so now you have to make a choice. Do you want to fuck with Matlock? <laughs> Old super slew bitch? Or do you want to get some help? Do you want your dick to fall off, or do you want to be, become a bitch in front of your mom? Who is ready for that shit? <laughs> I like that she, yeah, she, and she knows, it, she knows it's indestructible. Yeah. It's not her first dick. <laughs> yeah. like, like she, she, she's like, I, I give two shits whether my teenage son's right. dick stings for a second. You used my shampoo. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to shame you out of using my good shit. Now, how did it get in the tip of your dick? I'll answer that. You stole right. it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's get your dick out of my shampoo. <laughs> I'm going to help you in ways you Do girls you didn't do that? Is, is, is that a thing where you, you experiment with like awful shit like, like that, that, that burns your pussy up? <laughs> like, is, is, Pineapple. Is, is, anybody? No. Marietic acid. Right, no. No, I don't think women need lubrication the same way. I mean, you, you always need lubrication. Don't get me wrong. But, like... Don't get me wrong. It's, I don't think guys generate their own, you know? Well, I also don't think I need... I mean, I, look, I don't... Well, look, now we're getting into current events. Yeah. I don't, I don't use... I don't use any... Soap? That's some bullshit. <laughs> Don't do that. I, 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 uh, I only use Brandon's mom's hair products now. <laughs> <laughs> because fucking it's top of the line, it's man. It's top of the line. It's really. It's collagen enriched. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get Levy up here and find out what he uses? Yeah, yeah. why not? Yeah. Steve Levy. Yeah. Is a Levy in the house? Is a Levy in the house? You know, when was there another is. segue going to happen? What's happening, guys? What up? What up questions have you asked your parents about your dick? What do you put on your uh, dick? What, what, what you questions? Your dick? What, what do you put on your dick? <laughs> oh, boy. That's a loaded question. Is that the question you want me to answer? I can I, say it. What weird, what weird product did you put on your dick as a child that oh, okay. for a moment made you think you might have lost your dick? I got a, <laughs> I got a good one. Uh, silly putty? Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you know like when a you're man finished? that doesn't know, I'm the only one that volunteered information and got totally made fun of for it. Thank you. Uh, uh, for real, silly putty? So, okay, here. I... I mean, I had to be four, three or four years old because I, I, was, I thought you were no. going to say I had to be at a board meeting at three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Poor uh, silly putty. We were meeting at Warner Brothers three months ago. I had no time to fuck around. Did you think, because you saw the commercial and you see how the silly putty, you put it on like a comic book and you smear it on it and you could peel it up and you could see the like Batman Yeah, I got on bored it. of that, I guess. So you think you're going to... He you're gonna put a, it on your dick, and then you could see your dick in the putty. I, then he could make no. his dick really big. He yeah. sculpted no, was, a vagina. I would like a real, like a real psychopath. I, I was a Hell kid. Yeah. I was just experimenting as a kid. I guess I don't know. I took it out of its little red shell. And you got and the, so uh, horny. My mom was working or whatever, and then I just mushed it on my dick. My mom was working or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just remember, like, you know, because... It Way was, to shame her. It was... <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I know, and it is funny. You have to admit that there's, like, there's still an adult impulse to, like... I don't look, know. there was no supervision. I right. mean, no, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, exactly. It's well, she was, like, in the other room working, and, and, and I, like, I, I just mashed some silly putty on my dick, but I made sure it was, like, totally covered. Like, I was, like, in a shell. Like, twirl? Hell like, yeah. You did this motion. Yeah, yeah, that's the motion I was doing. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you made like a cut. string, like how silly no, furniture. No, you just like mush it. You just like mush it all. Oh, you around. were being sarcastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it seemed pretty. So then, so so so, so then I, I I just left it on. Oh and, no. And then I went about my day. If it ain't broke. <laughs> I just like didn't think about it, and I was like, "All right." And then I moved on to the next activity. <laughs> what, what was your day? Yeah. Like, the, 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 like, All actually, right. He that. left it on because he's like, "Well, this actually alleviates the pain from the slinky." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you got you got a dick covered a very in silly putty, thing. and you said, "Okay, you know, I, I got meetings, I got shit to do." I got Super Nintendos, <laughs> I, I got, got action yeah. figures, I got pace to I'm eat, about I Nickelodeon. I can't be. It was a full schedule. I can't be wasting my time taking silly putty off of my dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This okay, seems okay. like, you know, like like the gun at the beginning of a, a movie that you're going to reveal the end. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, did you, like, go about your day and then you all of a sudden, like, so made what, a bet with somebody? I bet so, my dick's way So, no, I just, yours. it was there for out. But my mom took me out for, like, errands. I was, like, in my car seat driving around. I remember we were doing all this stuff. And we get back and it's, like, bath time. <laughs> <laughs> and so. So, we, we can call this act two. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe X3? Where, where, where are we at right yeah, now? Yeah, if we're, uh, I mean... Meeting with the goddess. The, no, the meeting with the goddess is, uh, yeah, I don't know, having a good time during the day with Silly Putty. Like, the best time. <laughs> the Silly Putty on my dick. The atonement is, we come back from fucking a fun time junction, and Bad it's bath time, time. and then my, and then... And your so, mom's like, we had the best day today. Let's we did take a, lot, a bath, we a and you're like, done. Mom, I you want you to like understand. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Can and I tell so you a secret? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, go, go okay, on. So, so I, you know, obviously, like, you get undressed. She's like, Jesus Christ, what the, f- what, what? Why does what, your dick what, have what, Archie on it? Do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and by that time, it had totally dried. So it couldn't, you can't, you couldn't get That's it off. That's your deal breaker, everybody? <laughs> You couldn't, yeah. you couldn't get it off that easy, so right. I just remember like we had, like I soaked in the tub for a while, and then <laughs> wait and then you're, it, now now your mom's yeah on board, and she's like, she's well, like, we were we gonna take a bath, thing. we gotta but... get it off. All right. What did you tell her? Did you say I don't know how that happened? Or... I was so, honestly, I have no recollection. I just, you said, I just so like, young. oh, you were you were working. You heard him. He threw her under the bus. I was so young. <laughs> Fucking shout out to moms. God damn. Oh, yeah. We would not have our dicks without them. <laughs> that's, that's, the modern version of that is every mom I've talked to that's found their kid on the laptop. Like, like same age, but they're just like typing in the craziest, like, oh, you, that's how you think vagina is spelled. Like, like, like four years old, just trying to figure shit out and like getting rewarded for, by this like, Fucking speak so you, and spell. you put the silly putty on your dick, and you left it on there, and it congealed and hardened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then and your mom had to fucking go to work and fucking get it off your dick. Yeah, it was. It was yeah. like a. It was like a. It was like a. It was. It, <laughs> <laughs> I know a silly putty can dry, and then it turns into like clay. What That's as like? much as I remember. Yeah. yeah. It was like a cast. Like did she? Yeah. No one signed it. I don't know. <laughs> I remember being pretty upset and confused. Because she probably let it slip a little bit that she was a little put off. 
Like, you didn't want your mom to be upset. Yeah, I mean, I was in trouble. I, yeah. I don't think I grasped why. She wasn't like, was like, yay for experimenting. She was, she was like, overall, what the fuck? <laughs> and then you're like, that's not a good thing for a mom to feel, so then you felt bad. Throughout the day, do you remember if at any time during the day... I was day, so young, but... Uh, yeah. like, well, but I was just was curious, gonna... like, if you remember that at any time during the day, you were like... Yeah, this is gonna, you know, like, were you? Do you? Did you just forget I, it entirely? No, I mean, you could. I, 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 could, I remember it being in the car, in my car seat, clocking like, this is uncomfortable. Because I have vague memories of shitting my pants, and then you just like hang out and wait to get busted. I have so many. <laughs> yeah. Like I feel like you just wait, and then people start smelling, and you're like, God damn it, you know. But you still feel like maybe there's some version. I'd like to know what my four year old self thought. Like, yeah. man, I don't know. Maybe, like, giraffes there, will start attacking. I mean, or... I, I, was, I guess I was a strange kid. I also remember this time where my dad had cut down this tree in my backyard. Again, I was living on Long Island, so this is, like, I was, such, I was so young. And I just felt like, man, that looks like a really great place to take a shit. Just on this cleanly cut, like, stump of a tree. And my parents were inside. And I was outside, and I just fucking <laughs> dropped trout and took a shit on the stump of the tree. Wow. And I was like... All right, well, that was interesting. And then I, I was like, well, I got to go to the bathroom now because I got to wipe. And so right. I went inside, I wiped. And then, like, I remember, like, an hour later, my dad, like, <laughs> <laughs> he went outside to do some gardening or something. He was like, did you? <laughs> he was hoping the answer was no. He's like, I want the answer to be no because like, I'm going to call Bob Saget. Well, no, I mean, he, he I, I, <laughs> I was like, no, no. I, obviously, I was like, no, I wasn't. I didn't do that. Right. And, and he was like, no, you fuck it. Come on. That's human shit on a fucking tree stump. He let it slide, but he was just like, I'm His not an son, idiot. Son, you did it or we have to move. <laughs> <laughs> like, didn't, like, think about your choices here. He didn't, sh <laughs> he didn't shame me. He didn't shame me for doing it. It's such a shame. I, I, never, got to, I never got to fucking... Talk to it's him about you this stuff. or it's Gene. I, <laughs> Your I, like, I, like, like... I don't think I kept that inside my whole life. I, don't, I never talked to anybody about it. I don't know if my mom remembers that, but if my dad were still alive, it's definitely one of the things I would be like, Do you remember when that? I, that was that. I like it was me. I mean, I, I, I love remember. that it was like it was a clean because I'm picturing like a yeah, really so, oh. like sawdust yeah. and like pure in my, in my mind. I see it as like perfectly like sanded and like yeah. when, lacquered or with whatever. with a little bit of dust though, right? Because there's a little bit oh. of cat or dog in you that was like plus it's a little <laughs> bit of like, like there, that, that we're, right. we're we're cousins of other mammals, so that there's like a common link there. There was some like, like oh, I bet a cat would feel the same thing. There was like, some like, excited exhibitionism going through my mind, you know. <laughs> I also. I love, Levy, that if you, if you could have another conversation with your departed father, it yeah. would be that way. Oh, look. Like, you wouldn't look at you and be like, motherfucker, you brought me back from the dead to talk about shit stories? <laughs> he, he would find it fitting, I think. Uh, Do you think anybody saw, saw well, so it? Like, I remember the being like, like, I remember the excitement being like, I'm going to be naked outside for a second. I'm really nervous about it. My yard is fenced in, but the neighbors and like, could they see through? I was like, I don't want to. No one. I don't want anyone to see this. I remember like thinking that, and then I still went through with it. <laughs> I don't know. That's like the most adventurous I'd been, like till like I was probably in my twenties. Till tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Bring out the stump. Tonight we've got a stump in studio. Pull the rock. Pull I can really rock. picture that. that Pull the rock. I really want to. I want to share my uh, sympathies because like, I can really picture this stump. It's got even a like, target. Like kind of blonde wood. I don't, I'm picturing like a dark bark, but like a like a like a rich yellow wood. That, like, I, a white like, oak. Yeah, it was very like. like yeah. I, I want to take a. Sh I've never wanted to shit anywhere, except the toilet or my pants when I was a kid. Right. But yeah. Like like. like Me like, too. Except like, for that one time in my life. It seems like. It, and I did it. Yeah. And I never well, did it I'm again. I'm proud of you. Thank That's you. That's great. I think, <laughs> Did you make it right in the center? Was it? Did it look like a clean? Like I, I wanted no, to look like a Hershey's Kiss in the middle of this like uh, giant thing. Like, and like you know, you go to a redwood forest and they point at the rings and they go, Napoleon invades, uh, <laughs> storms the Bastille, and like they're point, the Wright brothers fly their plane at Kitty Hawk with the rings of the tree, and then in the center of it is well, Steve Levy takes a shit, but that's that's not right because that would be the oldest thing. I. Uh... <laughs> I honestly, and they have I to don't explain know. that in the placard. They're like, "Sorry, then Steve <laughs> Levy took a shit, but not in the Stone Age." So your dad goes, 
Hey, Steve, Stephen, did you take a shit on the on the on the tree stump? And you were like, huh? <laughs> What's Stacking that? block. Hold on, What's Dad. That? Hold on. And C. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Did you take a human shit on the fucking tree? Dad, I don't have time for this. What the fuck are you talking about? Did I take a shit? What am I? What am I, a fucking animal? I'm your son. Can you excuse me? I'm trying to stack. I got blocks over here. I got the A and the B next to each other. I'm trying to put the C. I just figured out I can put them in the middle. Does that mean in order to get high, I have to make a pyramid? All right, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. you're sorry? I'm fucking sorry. I'm two years old. You just wasted a tenth of my life with this shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everybody's like, oh, you're so young. Yeah, no shit. That means you're fucking with me and draining my life. Like, if I was 40, I'd be like, yeah, fuck it. Let's do nothing all day. Fuck you. I just got here. Okay. I'm not a fuck up. I'm going to shit everywhere. Wait, but I wait. didn't. I didn't. know. I didn't. I didn't. You know what? You know what? You need to, you need to tend your own garden. You know what? I just, I'm fucking like, I might be a famous pianist. You don't know. Don't fuck with me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't look at me like that. You, it's illegal for you to hit me. Woo! Woo! I've got you by the fucking balls. Excuse Woo! me, I gotta answer the. the oh, yeah, go ahead. Woo! Hello, uh, hello I'm, my name is Officer uh, Davis. Uh, we got some reports of a two year old pooping on tree stumps. Really? Uh, what? Excuse me? <laughs> what? Uh, Sorry, I don't hear so good. My eardrums are still like gelatinous membranes. <laughs> Uh, we have a report that we uh, someone matching your description. I'm going to stop was, you right was, there. We have a was report. Was pooping in a, yeah, yeah, a, in a yeah, dark You know what bark. your problem is? Your problem is you have reports. Okay? <laughs> My problem is I have fucking blocks. Uh, we, Do you want me to refill that, sir? I, yes, please. The coffee? Thank you. Uh, we'd like to bring hey, you well, down. Don't. <laughs> I'm can, supposed to trust this system? Can we, bring you, can we bring you down to the station and ask you some questions, young man? You can bring me anywhere. I can't fight you back. My I mean, muscles are pudding. Do you... Do you <laughs> Do you, do you want a lawyer up, or do you want to, like, do you want to just answer I questions? Even, I don't know what a lawyer is. If, is if, that if, the if, same as a gorilla? I don't if, know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know shit, and that's exactly what a jury's going to find if, out. If you've got nothing... <laughs> if, if you have nothing to hide, then you have no... There's no reason that we I got, I got come plenty down. to hide. Can you seek it? Huh? You don't know. I just, I just, I, everything's hidden from me. I don't have any persistence of motion. Uh, I don't, you could wh hide from me behind a towel. Where were you, where were you two and a half hours ago? What's a what's time? <laughs> See ya, dude. See ya, buddy. You're fucked, and you know it. If you had anything on me, I'd be in cuffs. Go fuck yourself. Davis. A B Davis. C. A B C. Get in my D. office, Davis. Uh, <laughs> this she, department, you cost this department a million dollars talking to that shit, baby. Oh, uh, chief. <laughs> chief, I. You keep messing up and it's gonna beat my ass. Chief, I, I want you to find out who shit on that. Chief, I got, I got this motherfucker, Chief. I fucking got him. <laughs> That's what you said about the Jablonski no, twins. No, I fucking, you, you give me fucking two hours, I fucking got this kid. You cost this department two billion dollars on that last case. <laughs> now, I, I is up my ass. Chief, I will, I, will, I will wager my fucking badge on this case. I fucking got this kid. <laughs> I All got right. him. I got him. You go talk to that baby. We all, all right. gonna get fired. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Did he come here? Did he come to the house? Um, Mr. Uh, <laughs> there is no Mr. M Mr. Lee. Uh, you want to talk? My name's Pookie, Papa, okay. Chi Chi, okay. Tony. What, what do you want me to call you? What do you want me to call you? That's His name is Steven. Me. His name is Steven. Okay, Steven. Steven. Steven, what did you have for lunch today? I, I just like, do you remember what you had what for lunch? What did I want to have for lunch? No, what did you have for lunch Birthday earlier today? Birthday cake. Sorry, I answered the first question. What did, you, what did you eat for lunch today? <laughs> Fucking strained something, veggie something. What if I told you... An airplane, you, an airplane came in. What if mouth. I... <laughs> a choo-choo train. I ate, sir, a, I ate a bunch of lies. That's what I ate. Sir, I'm going to show you, I'm gonna show you a, 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 a picture of a tree. Do you recognize this tree stump, sir? Sure, TT. -t. Yeah? Yeah, Tata. Yeah? What the fuck, dude? Keep, keep trying. Chichi Tata, whatever the fuck, right. bro. Do, do, do you want a nap? Do you want? Do you want? A, do you want a timeout? Do I want a timeout? Because I'll give you a timeout for fucking five to ten years for pooping on a tree. You talk to me like that? Uh huh? You, you, what? What? Yo. What did you just say? You talk. 
You talk to me like that again? Oh, I'm sorry. You got the leverage right now? I'm sorry. Do you think you have the leverage right now? I'm looking at a picture of a tree stump that's right out in front of your yard. That, that, that... <laughs> Great. Thank you. Sir, I sir, think your boss, I think your boss wants to talk to you. be heard all over the damn city. Chief, chief, that is an admission of fucking guilt. I don't give a goddamn what it was, TT, caca, poo poo. These words he was using, what was all that about? We, we got this, son of a bitch. You better get out there and get this conviction. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Levy, we can go round and round. <laughs> I, I like that. Yeah. I, now, I, oh. <laughs> I'd probably go to sleep. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Do I smell something? <laughs> when you just screamed, I, I think you made a little, a, a little chocolate poopy. It's not a crime. It smells a l- <laughs> It's not a crime, but what if I told you that we could match that poopy to the poopy on the tree from earlier today? Steven, show him. <laughs> We have your mother in here, Mr. Levy. <laughs> okay. So, sorry, just one second. Show him what? <laughs> Show him that you didn't poop your pants or pooped your pants. I poop my, I poop my pants all the time. I know, but right now, I mean, this is the only He's way to prove you... accusing me of shitting on a tree. Only like a... way to prove your innocence. What if only I, way. What if I told both of you that we found trace elements of silly putty around, around the poop? <laughs> What if I could match that silly putty to the silly putty that's almost certainly it, adhered to your penis right now? Uh, it's my front yard. I've been there a thousand times. I've my played. advice to you right now is to lawyer up, sir, because we've got you. Well, my advice to you is it's a little late to tell me that. Like, you didn't read me any rights. You, we read you your rights. You, you, you just don't know how to read. Well, you know how to read. I don't know how to listen. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, if you knew how to listen, you'd understand what I'm fucking you telling you right now. You needed to teach me to l- hear my rights. All right. And you didn't. You I'm just read, read them to me. I'm going to read you the ABCs of going to jail. I- I'm going to giggle and spit. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, your pa- maybe, maybe Mr. Panda could be your lawyer. Maybe Mr. Panda Pants could be your lawyer. Maybe Mr. Panda Pants could be your lawyer. Hey, Mr. Panda Pants. <laughs> these, these people can't see Mr. Panda Pants. <laughs> you, if you believe... That's right. If you believe, I'll represent you in court. <laughs> Mr. Panda Pants, I even need to put up with this shit, or can I just take another shit, fall asleep, and <clears throat> grow up to be a dentist? If you can count to five, you can go back to sleep, my man. Yeah, Mr. Levy, if you can count to five as your lawyer advised you, that you can go back to sleep. And this case never happened. Talk to five in my sleep. <laughs> well, let's hear it. Yeah, that's a... Don't have to do it for you. Don't no, have to do it for anybody. You don't, it doesn't you don't, say you, anything on the bottom sir, of Sir, you a... don't have to do anything. You don't, ha- you don't have to do anything. That's right, motherfucker. Glad you got here. What, did you come here by stroller? <laughs> that's enough apple juice. <laughs> that's Give me enough. a beat! Don't give me a beat. You know, at a certain point, he's going to leave. Everyone's going to leave. It's going to be me and you. You know what? I'm going to remember who fucking backed me up. I'm going to be a fucking pianist. I'm going to write a concerto. It's going to tear you to pieces. You're going you're gonna to kill yourself. I don't even need lyrics. You're going to tell C sharp. That's about me. Koosh. That's how good I'm going to be, and that's how fucked up you are. Are you still here? This whole thing's being recorded right now. It's all being baby monitored, too. <laughs> I, got, I was born re- recorded. <laughs> Part of the fucking new generation, bitch. I got no conscience. <laughs> fucking rapture happened a long time just, ago. I was born without a soul. Just say you pooped on the tree. Just say you, you can walk out of here today if you say you pooped on the tree. Tell me what to say. Why don't we just look at the baby cam? What? 
<laughs> the baby cam. It was oh. recording everything. It, it will back it up. And what it, baby? You got a baby cam in the front yard? Well, you got them all over the place. You, you fucking, fucking prick. You, you fucked us. You fucked us. <laughs> We're fucking dead. Good job. We're fucking dead. No, you're dead. No, we're, take we're you dead. Away. Uh, you think I go down alone? You fucking mook. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck put the food in me that turned into that shit? <laughs> Who the fuck cut the tree down? Whose yard is it? Who called the cops? You fuck. You're fucked. You're fucked. Oh, you're fucked. I'm gonna. You want me to count? I'm gonna sing. <laughs> yes, it was me. I got. I'd like to talk. I'd like to. I got it. All right. You want to wrap it up? You want? You want to wrap it? No, don't. <laughs> Even as a baby, I know that's not the way to end. <laughs> that's not. Oh, you, no, can, I'm, you can sing it out. No, I sing is like a gangster term for talk. Okay. I didn't mean I'm going to sing a song. It's I know, not, I know not what a, you meant. I know right. what you well, meant. He's... Oh, God. All right, we won't look at it. We won't look yeah, at the Yeah, don't footage. look at my shit. Well, How about just we have, have the police move shit? in. Why don't you just sit down and, and move in? I'm never going to go. What do you think being born is? It's me moving in. Give me a fucking break, man. I shit on your tree, okay? You cut it down. How do you think the tree whoa, feels? Whoa, whoa. We okay. just got it. Yeah, Chief, I know. Chief. I confess. We got, we, got a, we got a confession. You got that baby to tell the truth? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you lie to me, David. I got departments, more departments than a grocery store. No, we we have. They're yelling at me. We have it on baby cam, sir. We have it on baby. Cam. Bring him into the station and make him confess to me. <laughs> <laughs> or it's your ass, David. Uh, your boss, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Levy. I hate to. I, I know you're only two years old. <laughs> I understand. I can overhear him. We're in a scene about a, a baby pooping criminal, and right. your this police commissioner is stolen the show. <laughs> like, I, I, I want to know more about him, and well, I'm the baby. <laughs> we could probably take we could probably take two years off your sentence if you go and confess to him. <laughs> Do you know what they say about babies? Two years is a life sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Dissolve to police commissioner's office. Are these real Skittles? <laughs> I think they're breath mints. You can touch anything you want here. Wander around. But well, why did you shit on the tree? <laughs> <laughs> why? Such an easy question for you, isn't it? <laughs> See from your placard on the wall, you uh, went to what? West Point? I did. <laughs> Suppose all the furniture was where you could hold it while you waddled. I walk. <laughs> do you remember there was a time when you couldn't? Of course, I do. Of course, I do. I, I had to ask people for things. Accountability, it's why I yell at David so much. <laughs> Can I smoke? Of course. <laughs> I think we both should. <sighs> Commissioner, you and I both have a world of fucking problem here. My diaper is a literal one. Yours is the city. They're both full of shit. They both need to change. You change me without changing yours, you're going to have a lot of shit on your hands. <laughs> and I'll admit, I'm in no position to stick to my guns. Can't pick a gun up. It's weighs as much as I do. I wish I could change that, but laws. <laughs> <laughs> but I have an idea. I would never nap so I would never oh, yeah? Two days later, <laughs> at the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> a lot of babies go through the academy. <laughs> But most of them don't make it, make it, make it, make it. <laughs> it's, it's just a baby becomes a cop. And, that, and that's how you become a cop, is that the Statue of Liberty. Don't touch it. Don't <laughs> seal it up. That's exactly how it happened. Yeah. <laughs> Verbatim. <laughs> when you become a cop, no matter where you live, you're outside the statue of liberty. <laughs> what? What's our job? <laughs> to protect the statue or just liberty? 
Uh, I mean, I, look, I've never seen Family Guy. Don't th- isn't that just their bit? What, the baby can talk, right? And he's just like, oh, I'm a baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, who cares? I thought right. that's what you were doing. Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> my ther- ask my therapist. I don't watch fucking Family Guy. <laughs> shots fired, fired, fired. Oh, bah, bah, shots bah, bah. fired to my therapist. I'm like, watch the fucking show. God damn it, I've given you... Look, would you just watch Rick and Morty? Jesus Christ, fucking therapist. I swear, she's just doing it because she knows. We've been over this. Yeah, Why does just, she not watch I'm, the I'm, show? I'm, I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm having such a chow, I gotta weigh this and then that, and I, I'm trying to think of, oh, wait a minute, and she's like, you know, Peter Griffin has the uh, thing in his time. I'm like, who the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are no. you talking about? No. What are you talking about? No. Peter Griffin. Not cool. I want to know what was her, I want to know what her example was. Like she used some like, example like really he had an help. angel and a devil. I'm like that's the one reference you don't even have to make. But oh, I don't right, I don't want to make yeah. her sound like a bad therapist. She's just she just doesn't understand television. <laughs> <laughs> she understands the human brain. You know, but then she's like TV, she's like, you know, it's funny. It reminds me of this thing. There was this land of the lost. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> Update your Netflix. It's, it's not how Netflix works. You don't update it and then the shows get newer. It's not how it works. <laughs> Land of the Lost. Update. Girls. Oh, girls. <laughs> the sleeve stacks turn into <laughs> millennial women finding themselves in New York. <laughs> All right. You know, look. If it's that hard to steal focus, it means mm. the show's going well. Mmm, the soup's almost done. <laughs> Rob's right. All soup is inevitably almost done. <laughs> and so, oh, I can't tell. I could I, I set you up and you were fucking let's end the show. I guess. But it just reminded me of this one thing. Like, there's this podcast called the No Sleep Podcast. But it's it's like it's been on for like 11, 12 seasons. Like I'm I'm obsessed with like creepy pasta like like podcasts. I was listening to this thing called Creepy, but then I realized that he keeps referencing. But it's for some reason Canadians are like, like as a nationality, like Canadians like are the ones that are really into creepy pasta. Like it's sort of like like the Irish are into bootlegging in the 20s. Like <laughs> like it's like the Canadian will look back on it. Oh, the creepy pasta f- phenomenon, of course, was being trafficked into podcasting by the Canadians for some reason. And so it's so funny, like, when people are, I, 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 it just, it's so hard to scare me when you say a boot. Like, it's so funny. Yeah. Like, it, 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 you can't yeah. fucking do it. It's like, oh, and then, the, and then I looked and the monkey paw was a ruined the thing. And it's, and it's just like, it's so adorable. You Canadian. And What's creepy? What's creepy pasta? It's just, I think that's just <clears throat> shorthand for like, Ghost stories that are uh, the, the the in the incarnation of like forum posts and stuff where, where the, sometimes the line between reality is blurred as they always were with with campfire stories but now in the digital age creepy pasta I think it comes from copy paste so like cause copy the, pasta which is uh, a copied and pasted text block I think the earmark of a good one <laughs> just information. Why would you? What? Why would you do that? Why would you do? No, no one would do anything. It just evolved. It's just kids like telling each other ghost stories online. You know, same thing as a campfire, but they don't have campfires anymore because the world is on fire. <laughs> Did they have to do with food? No, because it just, I don't know. It just derives language. Fucking thrives. It just fucking turns into other shit. Language just lives. It's a creepy text block that's been copied and pasted. <laughs> <laughs> creepy pasta, but I will say this: the 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 one I listened to, creepy. There's a, there's a guy who goes, "This is creepy." The the biggest collection of the most. Um, fa- uh, what, what, can I just pull it up and like, pull, just, it up, yeah. pull it up? Because because the thing yes. is, the way that the guy says the word pasta in creepy pasta, it's like there's something like he can't escape. Like he's he's and when I say old man, I'm sure he's my age, but I'm just saying like he's so old that he like. He can't say that phrase "creepy pasta" without really making it sound delicious. Um, whereas, like, I never like. I, so I, say, I just, I just want to. I, I like just indulge me, and because I'm in a good mood. And thank you, thank you all for another week of. Uh, <laughs> you know, and one of these days, I may have something really specific to thank you guys for, like. 
over the weeks and things. There may be certain battles that have to be fought in silence and things, and I really owe you guys a fucking lot. And uh, we'll talk about it on the other side of, of a tunnel that's going to be worth it. But um, uh, I, I, I just want to play the, uh, the intro of... Uh, uh, let's see. Let's hear how delicious this pasta is. I'm afraid my battery's gonna go out, but that'll be just oh that'll no. be cool. All right. You know what, Shrub? <laughs> you know what? You're just oh, oh, didn't you get on, a, just, an expensive one? How, when are they gonna make didn't this you get a thing expensive work power? For people that just the just, podcast app is so bad and it's fun to watch oh. you go through that live. It's so <laughs> it's really bad. I just wanna also I wrote one for the if you're a Patreon subscriber that he'll do one that I and I wrote one and uh, uh, Did he read it yet? Well, not, a, not, like he, he recorded it. But. Oh, cool. Levy, can we have a second phone on this? Yeah. What's the what's Spencer's the, got his I, phone out. I just set it down, though. It's the only reason at this point. <laughs> I was going to help, but I was like, nah. Well, because you knew it was going to be hard. Hilarious. Well, I just thought that you were most of the way there, but. <laughs> it well, just doesn't. I, like I, think, I, think, you know, I think it's largely like. Oh, you have bad signal in here, huh? My phone's at five percent, and there's no signal, and it's ten o'clock. Let's just let's. Uh, it's something to look we'll save it to. for next time. All right. Oh yeah. Sorry if I come up. back now. <clears throat> <laughs> but I have, I have I have a lot to talk about with creepy pasta podcasts. I, it's been my new thing. Why don't Dan? Why, why don't you just cast one spell in D and D right now? Like, like just like like you, okay. Let, let's just say that we're in the middle of a thing, and you cast one one spell. Uh, do I have any spells left? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 let's say have, let's say well, that Dan had rested and he, and he has he has, he has no, one. Let's say Dan rested. That's fucked up. I'm sick of this resting. You have spell slots. You need to rest. All right. Eight hours. Who has a spell among us right now? No one. <laughs> well, you all have you all. You have don't cantrips. fucking DM from the bottom. bottom. PM the. PM, the, yeah. You don't DM don't from the DM. PM. You don't DM from the PM. I, I'm, 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 I'm from the PM. You don't from the DM from right the PM. You don't aid. Well, DM well then, Dan, what, 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 use a weapon. Like, like do it, do it. An I use my cudgel. Oh, it's great. Well, yeah, that'll make sense without context. There you go. You hit him right in the dick. <laughs> We're also lucky I didn't drive here tonight. Oh. Yeah, man. Why? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I drank. <laughs> Tonight? Every night. But okay. I just recently <laughs> got a car. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I got a I feel drive. lucky. I feel so lucky. <laughs> I feel so lucky that you didn't drive. <laughs> and your phone is at five percent. I feel lucky. <laughs> 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 Have a little soup. <laughs> May that be the thing that takes you home tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Harmon Town is no longer in session. Thank you to so many people, but Jeff Davis, Steve Levy, Rob Schropp, Dan Harmon, Spencer Crittenden, Nolan Fabricus, uh, Zach McKeever, Chris Forbes, Sarah Hill, the Hello, lovely Patrick. Dynasty typewriter. We're so happy to have you. One more time, a big round of applause for yourself. I've been your cop teller, Brandon Johnson. Good night! Church, we love you. Did you get any of that? It's a good show!